if you're on the streets on Chester, yeah. what's that like? It's all right, mate. There's a uh, lot of drugs about. It's a struggle, but I'll get past it in the end. In the Today, I've come to Chester, where recently the council was successful in its bid for more than £2.6 million in order to provide homes and help the people that are sleeping rough within the city walls. With the majority of the funding being used to convert Cares on House, which will provide 36 bedrooms and 24-7 support for homeless households. Around half a million will also be put towards the cost of acquiring six one-bedroom flats for former homeless individuals, with a support worker to help those through any issues or challenges they may have. This is a giant leap from a council that not so long ago tried to enforce £1,000 fines for anyone found sleeping rough. But I'm here today to address the elephant in the room and to find out just how did homelessness become so prevalent in one of the most affluent areas in the northwest of England. I've been coming to Chester for years. Why do you think the homelessness has got worse over the years? It's because the, the, the people there, the councils in North Wales, are renting hotels now, full hotels for the homeless in North Wales and Chester. So obviously they're all coming here to stay. And it's just looking like it's a lot worse. It's just because, but these, most of them have got hotel rooms and stuff. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's because, because the other areas are sending their homeless to Chester, but them up in hotels. Yeah. One issue highlighted recently was raised by Chester Pride Charity, who have spoken out about the worrying problem of the LGBT plus community being kicked out of their homes after coming out to their families. The charity says that sadly, it is an all too common occurrence, with one young woman kicked out of her home just before Christmas, and it's happening all the time. But obviously homelessness is a complex issue, and everyone has their reasons. Uh, so how have you ended up homeless then, Jay? Um, I was, I was, uh, I worked for Tesco, yeah. had my own flat, yeah. uh, and uh, my nan got Alzheimer's, and I gave it all to go back and look after her, but I didn't get my name put back on the REM book with the council, because I grew up in that house, that was my childhood home, you know what I mean, I just, naturally, I just thought it was just possession, you know, down from, you know, to me. Yeah. that's not how it works at all, man. Oh, sorry to hear that. Oh, no, it's my own fault, really, I should have looked into it. Yeah, but, you know, it's, you know, this is why you can't just work on presumptions. Yeah. <laughs> well, how have you ended up homeless, though? Um, I got, I was in a hostel, I got drunk, lost the key, and door it and then i got thrown off but um i got a catholic church to help me and they see me every morning on a weekday i got a cup of coffee check get the washing done get the clean done you know go back out again sit around i've got access to bits and pieces now and again if we need it do you feel safe on the streets today yeah 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 i, think no, I don't want to be here yeah, but yeah, yeah. you know i'm the I, I know a lot of people in Chester from being here, that, from here anyway, you know, so I, I woke up a couple of, you know, people peeing when they come out of the club and that on you, pissing on you, mm. but, you know, one of them, three times that's happened, the one of them, I know, I'm certain knew it was there, but the other two, I think they just genuinely didn't see me because yeah. it, it was dark, you know what I mean? They're quite hidden. So I, 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 I just think the two other two just genuinely didn't know I was there, yeah. but one of them, I'm certain knew I was there. Mm. But well, yeah, no, um, on the whole though, it's, it's, it's relatively safe in Chester. Do you feel safe, Paul? I'm always safe. There are 257,000 cameras in Chester yeah. that are constantly watching you. See that little green light over there? Yeah. That's camera on this time. Can you see that black wall on the side of the building up there? Yeah. Black wall. That's camera. Is it? And then two down on John Street, there, yeah. infrared and place where it's they can put them up in the hospital, it's easy. Um, and you, there'll be a car roll up and a van roll up every now and again. And they do a case and pick the odd person up. There's a city of these radio systems on all shots and the radio system, where you can all just sit there and, like, if something happens, one sh shop will get on the radio and the next one, all the shops, all the security of the one turns on that location. It's pretty safe then, isn't it? There's not been really a lot of crime in Chester. No. It's mostly my part. Yeah. But as safe as Chester is, with all its CCTV and the slow crime rate, there's a worrying new trend evolving. What seems to be the drug around here? Do you know what, mate? They just thought uh, it's, it's crack with them now, mate. Yeah. And I'm, I'm a pothead, yeah. mate. Pot, yeah, yeah. Pothead, like, but 
It, 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 it was uh, the heroines, just neither here nor there here anymore. Um, they went mad on Spice for a couple of years, a few years ago. I mean, absolutely bizarre. Dangerous stuff, that is. Yes. It? Absolutely. A couple of them it? died, mate. Yeah, yeah I yeah. have, mate. Yeah. You've tried it. A couple of them died from that. Um, I tell you what, also, they're really into, mate. Like the tablets, like Free Gablin and Xanax. Really, yeah. Yeah. Round here, that's quite yeah. popular, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Like them pre gabbling are going for like uh, I'm advertising, but they're going for like two fifty, three quid per tablet. So it's cheap enough to, to get, isn't it? And it's it's just, it, but those tablets are much better being used for someone that actually needs yeah. them yeah, yeah. than people getting them just to sell. Xanax is a fast acting, potent tranquilizer, which, misused, can cause over sedation to the point where you stop breathing, and it's highly addictive because it alters brain chemistry in a way that facilitates higher than normal releases of dopamine. But do people think the council really care? With the generous investment in trying to help homeless, does this seem like a genuine duty of care from the council? Or is it a way of covering their tracks from previously trying to find rough sleepers £1,000? You've got, like, even the councillors don't really care, but, like, you've got the council, some fellas, like, I forget his name, Paul's his name, but I his second name. He's always around checking on everyone, uh, Obviously, you've got Cher, you've got Calf, which is uh, another homeless Chester, it's a homeless, which own that then they sent to where Cher do their thing as yeah, well. Yeah. Um, so, you know, there's a few that care, like. Yeah. There is, but like you say, you're always going to have uh, the pigs. Yeah. The council, they want to put me in a hostel in Ellesmere Port, and then by the time I'd switched over all my stuff to a different area, Basically, the appointment repeats after the three-day period that they want the money from the hospital and everything. So, therefore, they wouldn't have the payment and, therefore, they could go out after three days. So, basically, you've got to have a certain amount of money to put into it to get what you want out of it. And at the moment, I'm not, I've got 69 pence in bank. That's it. Just like most councils, mistakes will be made. But I believe that Cheshire West and Chester Council are really trying to make a difference today with homelessness. But something I took away from here today was a feeling that people within the community matter to one another. Homelessness won't heal in isolation, but it certainly will in this community. When it comes to the councils, read Animal Farm by George Orwell. Four legs good, two legs bad. Spot on.